And will our advertisement be in tomorrow's paper? Good. Now, here's the way I want the ad to read. Help the Los Angeles Youth Foundation. Please donate any old thing around the house that you want to get rid of. <laughs> That's very funny, but I don't think your wife would like to hear you say that. <laughs> would you repeat, please? No, no. That's correct. Oh, and uh, please add, call Dixon 89963 for pickup. That's right. Goodbye and thank you. Well, Hilda, what have you got there? My contribution to the Youth Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> but dear, you're going to want those things next summer. No, I've given up the beach. It's too <laughs> discouraging. Discouraging? The last time I was there, the only thing that whistled at me was a tugboat. <laughs> Do you think we can use these things? Well, what's this? Oh, that's part of a skin diver's outfit. <coughs> How does it work? Well, you just place it over your nose like this. Hello, Pete. Hi, Mrs. Reskin. Oh, I see you bought an elephant. <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> Here's an old suit I'm uh, donating to the cause. Well, thank you, Pete. Have you been through the pockets? Oh, I didn't have to. Gladys just put it under her x-ray machine. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hi, Pete. Hi. <coughs> How's Gladys feeling? Oh, the little expectant mother is giving me a lot of trouble today. Oh, is anything wrong? Well, the baby isn't due for six and a half months. But Gladys wants $400 for new clothes. Well, in her condition, she's entitled to something special. Yeah, I know, but uh, who ever heard of a maternity mink stole? <laughs> you hear that? Here we are. Yeah. Uh, uh, careful now, don't scratch it. Oop, oh, oh. Get easy now. There we are. Honey, would you get up, please? That's it. Now we'll put this chair over there. That's it. There, we got enough room now. Right through there. And we'll put this chair over here. There we are. Oh, that's... Fine. There you are. <laughs> now, what is this? That, my dear, is a health chair. I thought I'd surprise you. Huh? Do you like it? Well, I don't know. Matt, what's the cord for? Well, I'll show you. You just plug it into the wall, right over here, like this, and you turn on that switch right down there. Matt, you have achieved the dream of every American boy. His own electric chair. <laughs> Brother, wait till you see this thing vibrate. My landlord has one. They're great for making milkshakes sitting down. <laughs> oh, honey, this is the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in. Come on, now try it. Well, I'm sure it's comfortable, dear, but you're not going to keep it in the living room, are you? Well, of course I am. I'm going to sit in it while I watch television. Lily, do you see anything wrong with my health chair? No, dear. It looks very healthy to me. Uh, Hilda, let's take those things out of the garage. No, Good wait idea. Wait a minute, Lily. Why don't you try the chair? Get your blood circulating a little. Uh, no, thank you, dear. My blood is perfectly comfortable right where it is. <laughs> How about you, Hilda? No. If I'm going to be shook up, it's going to be by Elvis. <laughs> What's the matter, honey? You, you don't like the health chair? Oh, yes, darling, I like it. I just don't think I like it in the living room. It doesn't go with the rest of the furniture. Uh, Ruth, the salesman who sold me this chair guaranteed me that it would go with any kind of furniture. And what would he have to gain by lying? <laughs> Come on, honey, just give it a try. Come on now, try it. Well, I know it's comfortable, Matt, there but it doesn't belong are. in this room. Now, settle back now. Settle back now. Relax a little here. <laughs> Now, there. Now, isn't that just like lying in your own bed? Huh? Yeah, but I don't want my bed in the living room either. <laughs> All right, now we turn on the electricity. Oh, no, ma'am, ma ma wait. There. <laughs> well, how does it feel? It doesn't go with the rest of the furniture. <laughs> I mean, honey, isn't it invigorating, relaxing, huh? doesn't go with the rest of the furniture. Now give her more juice, Matt. She'll break down when her eyeballs light up. Matt, turn me off. Oh, Lily, okay. <sighs> well, how do you feel? 
it doesn't go with the rest of the furniture. Now, get me up. All right, well, just uh, push on the arms there. Well, I am, but I'm stuck. Matt, get me out of there. Okay. Here. <laughs> Ruth, will you stop clowning around? <laughs> Take the screen away. Well, all right. But Matt, I'm not going to ask you again. Will you please get rid of that thing? I may be a little old-fashioned, but I've always felt a man's home is his castle. This is my throne. It's going to stay right where it is, and I don't want any arguments about it. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, boy, a rodeo! Hide him, cowboy! and you win the rock busting contest. Oh, Cosby. Don't be dope. His blood will stop. Hold the block, Pete. <laughs> well, uh, what happened to it? Oh, it just needs a little adjusting, that's all. <laughs> a little? You could have gotten a ticket for speeding. <laughs> You were doing 20 miles an hour in a 15-mile furniture zone. Uh, well, I'll, I'll call the store about that tomorrow. Say, how about a game of golf? No, I can't. Uh, Gladys has me practicing folding diapers, and uh, it's pretty rough. Well, why? My dog won't hold still. <laughs> Get your club. No, honestly, I can't. I gotta mow the lawn, too. Ruth? Yes, Your Majesty? <laughs> I'm going to play a little golf. I'll be back at 6 o'clock. Oh, okay. And don't touch that chair. Especially if you're standing in a bathtub. Over here? Uh, well, uh, uh, what's wrong with meeting at Gracie's house? Oh. Well, all right, yeah. Yeah, you can come here. Two o'clock will be fine. Okay, we'll see you. Bye bye. Oh, Ruby, guess what? Henry the Butcher is marrying Sally in the vegetable department. He said it's a sort of corned beef and cabbage romance. <laughs> Dear, what's the matter? Oh, Mother, the girls are coming over here for a meeting, and they're just going to die when they see that monstrosity. Oh, dear, they may like it. Really, it's very comfortable, and it's beautifully upholstered, and it's the latest. Mother, what would you do with that chair? I'd put it in the garage. <laughs> That's a good idea. No, now, wait a minute, dear. Matt was quite determined about that chair, that it should stay right here in this room. We'll move it back into the room after the girls go home. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. all right, dear. Okay. <laughs> oh, my, it's heavy. Oh, maybe if I plugged it in, it would walk out there by itself. <laughs> Sailors attached to the car. Are we all ready to go now? Just a few minutes. Madeline Schweitz, his two nephews, are coming over to help us load this. Oh, wonderful. Well, here's another contribution. You're welcome to the pressure cooker if you can use it. Well, thank you. Why, it looks as if it were in splendid shape. It's in perfect firing condition. <laughs> Last week, Gladys shot the first pot roast into outer space. <laughs> Down to you, well, let's see. I think uh, the best way, you just go straight out Olympic, and that'll take you right there. Hey! Boy, does this bring back memories. <laughs> ah, 
Yeah, that's right. You were a footballer, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I sure was. Back in college, they used to call me Slippery Hips Porter. <laughs> My, you must have had a hard time keeping your pants on. <laughs> Oh, I see we have uh, a young scoffer in the group. I happen to be famous for my full spinner off tackle slants. Here, I'll show you. Okay. That's a linebacker, right? Oh, no, Pete. You be careful. No, not nothing to worry about. 72, 83, 94. Hike! Oh. Hey, do it again. They were outside. <laughs> Pete, are you all right? Yeah. I'm, o I'm okay, Coach. Let me stay in the game. Oh, come on now. I'll take you home, Slippery, and slide you into bed. <laughs> the goal is this way. <laughs> What's with him? Just a punch-drunk football player. <laughs> oh, it's so nice of you to come over here to help us. It's a pleasure. You want us to drive downtown with you and help unload the stuff, too? Oh, no, thank you. If you'll just load it up, they'll take care of the unloading down at the center. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get going, Bert. <laughs> now, if you don't need me, I'd like to change my dress. Oh, uh, would you care for a cup of coffee and a sandwich when you finish here? Uh, no, thanks. No, thank you. Oh, no? All right. Well, now, let's see. We better start with the big pieces first. Yeah. Uh, you better give me a hand with this one. Bye, Phyllis. Bye, Gracie. I'll call you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, Ruth. Oh, hi, I just put your lawnmower back in the garage. Well, thank you. Feel free to use it any time. Oh, well, thank you. Of course, my father always taught me, never a borrower or a lender be. But if you got a choice, be a borrower. <laughs> uh, what happened to Matt's chair? Oh, I had some company, so I just stuck it out in the garage. In the garage? I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, Pete, it must be there. Well, take my word for it, Ruth, it's not. Are you sure? I just came from the garage. Well, where can it be? Well, after all the fights it's been causing around here, maybe it ran away from home. <laughs> oh, no. What's the matter? They must have loaded Matt's chair on the trailer by mistake. Oh, Pete, we've got to get it back before Matt comes home or he'll kill me. Now, take it easy, take it easy. I'll drive down to the center and pick up the chair. It's simple. Oh, Pete, you're a lifesaver. You sure you don't mind? Not a bit. Gladys is cooking dinner, and at a time like this, I always like to get as far downwind as possible. <laughs> oh, Pete, yeah? uh, what'll I do if Matt comes home first? Do you have a gun? No. Get one. 